Hi. Welcome back to our channel Yuva Tech. Please don't forget to give your feedback after watching this video. We also request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications. In the previous video number 10 we learned about PN Junction Diode and its operation. From the previous video, if you closely observe, the magnitude of reverse saturation current, mainly depends upon junction temperature because, the major source of minority carriers is, thermally broken covalent bonds. Now, let us see the concept of breakdown in reverse biased condition. If the reverse voltage is increased beyond certain limit, large reverse current can flow and, it will damage the diode. This is called reverse breakdown of the diode. Such a breakdown can occur due to the two effects namely, avalanche effect and Zener effect. Let us see how breakdown occurs due to avalanche effect. To understand this effect let us see what is carrier multiplication. Though the reverse current is not dependent on reverse voltage, if the reverse voltage is increased, at a particular value, velocity of minority carriers will increase. Please note that this is occurring due to thermally generated minority charge carriers. Due to the kinetic energy associated with the minority carriers, more minority carriers are generated when, there is a collision of minority carriers with the atoms. The collision makes the electrons to break, the covalent bonds. These electrons are available as minority carriers, and get accelerated due to high reverse voltage. They again collide with other atoms, to generate more minority carriers. This is called carrier multiplication. Finally, large number of minority charge carriers move across the junction, breaking the PN junction. These large number of minority carriers give rise to a very high reverse current. This effect is called, avalanche effect and, the mechanism of destroying the junction is called, reverse breakdown of a PN junction. The voltage at which the breakdown of a PN junction occurs is called, reverse breakdown voltage. The series resistance must be used to avoid breakdown condition. This is to limit the reverse current. Next, we will learn about breakdown due to the Zener effect. When a PN junction is heavily doped, the depletion region is very narrow. So, under reverse biased conditions, the electric field across the depletion layer is very intense. Due to the narrow depletion layer and, high reverse voltage, the electric field is very intense. This intense field is enough to pull the electrons out of the balance band of the stable atoms. Such a creation of free electrons is called Zener effect which is different than the avalanche effect. These minority carriers constitute very large current and mechanism is called Zener breakdown. Please note Zener effect is not occurring due to the collision of carriers with atoms. The normal PN junction diode is practically not operated in reverse breakdown region though may be operated in reverse biased condition. The breakdown effects are not required to be considered for PN junction diode. These effects are required to be considered. For special diodes such as Zener diode, such diodes are always operated in reverse breakdown condition. Operating the PN junction in reverse breakdown condition should be avoided. Because the large reverse current due to large reverse voltage dissipates large power. This will appear in the form of heat. The increase in junction temperature beyond the safest limit, will damage the diode permanently. Some special diodes are manufactured to be operated in the reverse breakdown region and, are called Zener diodes.